Um, in terms of the vaccine mandates, I acknowledge that it was a challenging time for people, but they made ultimately made their own choices. There was no there was no compulsory vaccination. People made their own choices. The government is planning to require every single teacher at every level and all support staff who work with children to be vaccinated. There was no compulsory vaccination. News Hub can reveal the mandate Chris Hipkins is taking to Cabinet on Monday is a mighty big stick. Every educator who works with a child will have to be vaccinated. People made their own choices. I can now confirm that we'll be extending this requirement to large parts of our health and education workforces as well. There was no compulsory vaccination. Cabinets agreed that high-risk workers in, health and in the health and disability sector will need to be fully vaccinated by the 1st of December. People made their own choices. This includes general practitioners, pharmacists, community health nurses, midwives, paramedics and all healthcare workers in sites where vulnerable patients are treated, including intensive care units. There was no compulsory vaccination. We'll also be including certain non-regulated healthcare workforces, including aged residential care, home and community support services, kaupapa Māori health providers and non-government organisations that provide health services. People made their own choices. Schools and early learning staff and the support people who work with them, who have contact with children and students, will need to be fully vaccinated by the 1st of January 2022. There was no compulsory vaccination. That includes home-based educators, all those who support people in our schools and early learning services, such as teacher aides, administration and maintenance staff, and contractors. People made their own choices. Secondary schools in Kura will also be required to keep a COVID-19 vaccination register of their students. There was no compulsory vaccination. Students that don't produce evidence of vaccination will be considered unvaccinated. People made their own choices. What will the ramifications be for teachers or those in the health workforce who choose not to be vaccinated? Ultimately, in the health workforce, they will not be able to work in those roles. There was no compulsory vaccination. In the education workforce, uh, from next year, they won't be able to work in those roles. People made their own choices. So my message to New Zealanders who have not yet had their first dose, if you want summer, if you want to go to bars and restaurants, get vaccinated. If you want to get a haircut, get vaccinated. If you want to go to a concert or a festival, get vaccinated. If you want to go to a gym or a sports event, get vaccinated. There was no compulsory vaccination. If you are not vaccinated, there will be everyday things you will miss out on. People made their own choices. Uh, everyone will be able to get a vaccine between now and the end of the year. Uh, but of course, you know, and, and I want every New Zealander to come forward, but human behaviour suggests that there will be some people that we have to actually really go out and look for. There was no compulsory vaccination. Uh, but I, I can't say that, you know, that we're not going to have some hesitant people or some people who just haven't come forward that we don't have to go out and find next year. People made their own choices. Cabinet has decided today that vaccinations will be mandated for everyone who works in any workplace where a vaccine certificate is required for entry. There was no compulsory vaccination. This includes hospitality, events, gyms and close proximity businesses such as hairdressers and barbers. People made their own choices. Once the notice period commences, the employee will have that amount of time to get vaccinated. There was no compulsory vaccination. The employee will be able to retain their employment if they get vaccinated in that period but their employment will be terminated if they do not. A mighty big stick. People made their own choices.